Hello and welcome back to studios everyone. My name is Carson and this is K2 Productions. I know it has been such a long time since you guys have seen anything from me. Uh, life has just been absolutely crazy. I've been in semester um, going to university and really 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 busy with uh, all that stuff. And I've been traveling a lot so life has just been absolutely wild and I have not gotten much chance to work on things much less make videos about them. So <clears throat> I'm hoping to kind of get back into the groove for at least a little bit. I have the second half of my summer left after I just finished the summer class, so I'm hoping that I can really start making some things for you guys. Um, just some channel updates. I have printed the, the shoulder straps for the chest armor for the clone trooper armor that I'm making. If you haven't seen that before, go check it out. It's on my channel everywhere. I put some magnets in it, so there will be a video coming for that soon. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in anything like that, definitely hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Uh, also, Galactic Armory just came out with a update for those files recently. So it's got a new abdomen that uh, definitely will be easily easier to wear. That's his goal anyway. And then it also has new calves. So uh, I'm probably going to be trying to work on some of that. Definitely the abdomen at least because I've had some trouble trying to fit into the abdomen and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for those things. If you guys are interested in any of those, stick around. But without further ado, let's get to what you guys actually came here for. But first, I kind of want to talk to you. Uh, it's from Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities, which I'm sure you guys know if you're watching this video. It's in Galaxy's Edge. I've had the privilege to go there twice now, once in California, right when it opened, and then once now recently in Florida. It's absolutely incredible. Um, it's and a mind-blowing experience for a Star Wars fan, so I definitely recommend it. But in this Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities, it is what it's called, a antiquities store. Uh, they just have things piled, artifacts from all walks of Star Wars just piled everywhere. It's themed incredibly. Um, it's where you buy the legacy lightsabers and stuff like that. But it has things mounted on the walls. There's a whole attic filled of, of stuffed things and artifacts and... Anything you can think of, it's absolutely incredible. They have this cool uh, baby Sarlacc pit in a in a tank that you can see it. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. So while I was there, one of the things that I noticed that I, I just thought was such an awesome concept was uh, the Phase 1 Clone Trooper helmet. Because in this storyline, this helmet is like 60 years old. So... So it's been, you know, sitting in, in the sands of, of somewhere for the past 60 years, just, just dusting and rotting away and, and weathering itself and things like that. So I thought that was such an incredible thing to add to my collection. And it's a good way to get the channel started again, get my teeth into stuff and uh, get going on things. So without further ado, let's get into me making it. I do apologize. I had some videos of me printing it and gluing it together and stuff like that, but I don't know where they went. So yeah, I'm not really sure what happened there. Uh, they, they just disappeared or something. I don't know. It's been, I've been working on this helmet on and off for the past like months. So that could be part of it. It's just, I lost it. I've got a new phone since then. I, I don't know. It, it, something happened to it. So what you'll see next is I have finished cleaning it up and making it all smoothed out and stuff like that. I figured that you guys don't really need to see me sand it down and all that stuff again. Um, I just printed it out. I'll link the file that I got it from down in the description below. It's a Thingiverse file. It's free. It's, all, it's a great looking file. Um, I just printed it out and I welded it together with a uh, soldering iron. So it's nice and strong. I didn't even use any glue on it. I just welded it together, um, used a little extra, you know, scrap filament and filled in some of the cracks as best I could. And then I got to it with finishing it, so I put, obviously I painted on my wood filler and primer and did a lot of sanding with my mouse sander and stuff like that, so I don't need to show you guys that. You've already seen that, I know. So if you don't know how to do things like that, definitely check out my channel. I have some videos on me finishing prints and stuff like that, uh, helmets and things like that, so go check out my other videos and then come back to this one if you want to know how to make this. But let's uh, go get right into it and I'll show you what's going on. All right, guys, so... Uh... I finished working on the helmet and smoothing it all out and getting it ready for paint and stuff like that. So I'm actually, I'm pretty happy with it. It, it definitely looks pretty solid. It, uh, I definitely put some freaking work into it, but it, it looks pretty solid. Also, you can't put it on your head. The, uh, it has the bottom neck ring 
that is real small. It is, you know, movie accurate or whatever, but it is very small. Like, you cannot fit this thing over your head. It's not totally perfect, but uh, that doesn't matter because we're going to weather the absolute crap out of this thing. So, you know, some, some imperfections here and there, like uh, there's some melted plastic here. You cannot very well, yeah, you can kind of see it um, from me soldering this thing together. Uh, I'm going to turn that into battle damage and super weathering because as you guys know, I'm going to be weathering this like crazy. So yeah, the uh, sanding process is pretty much done. I kind of skipped over it. As you know, I, you didn't see any footage of it because there's not, you know, you only need to see me sand and paint things like so many times. So basically I did the methods that I've shared on this channel before. So now what we're going to do next is I'm going to put a complete white coat on this because obviously a clone trooper is white. So I'm going to start off with some white and we'll get it completely covered white and then we will start doing the taping off of everything. Okay guys, so I I have pretty much finished painting it all nice and white. I still have the tape down here by the way on the on the neck ring. But so now I'm going to take it inside and I'm going to tape off all the black pieces. So I'm going to tape off like the uh the headband and then uh yeah, so we'll go do some taping. So I finished taping up the helmet. Um, I just taped off the teeth and the black headband that goes around and then these vents or whatever in the back. Uh, I did not tape off this, the, the piece right here, this little, the secondary headband or whatever you want to call it, just because it's, it's directly like right next to slash connected to this thing. So I can't tape it off, but uh, after some reference photos, it kind of looks like this is dark gray. I know this is black and then the teeth almost look like it's, they're like a really dark gray. So I'm not sure what color I'm going to paint them yet, but I'm going to go paint at least some of it now, at least this, cause I know it's black. So after uh, consulting the 501st website, I basically, it says that uh, the brown is supposed to be like charcoal gray or something like that. And uh, the back is supposed to be another type of gray or something like that. I can't remember. They, they, they were called them gray. So I, I just painted them with my, uh, with my filler primer. And then uh, it doesn't matter too much. They, you know, it's gray. And then I'm going to weather the heck out of this thing. So it doesn't really matter to me too much. But uh, I think the coats are probably good, so as soon as they dry, we're gonna take off all the tape and check them out. All right, guys, so I finished painting it. So we're gonna try and, it's all dried, and we're gonna try and unwrap it. So hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Uh, this helmet is gonna be incredibly weathered. So I'm hoping that it'll be okay and you won't really notice any bleeds and stuff like that, unless they're really bad, but I guess we'll find out. So here's the top. <clears throat> 
the top line, which looks pretty dang good. Here, I'll bring it in close so you can see the, at least a little better, you can see the satisfying pulls. Oh, but I gotta pull it this way so you can see it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get this guy off. Oh yeah, see dude, look at that. I'm I'm really happy with how that turned out. I am very oh here we go. You ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Bam 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 Dang son! Wow. I uh on my last helmet that I made, the lines were pretty nice. But not like this. Holy crap. Oh my god, it looks like a clone helmet. Oop. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That actually, oh my gosh. On camera, it looks even better. Makes me so happy. Look at the back. That's wild. This is a, um, probably the best tape job I've ever done. Like, that's freaking crazy. There's one spot, right? Yeah, you can see it right there where the tape, I didn't have the tape like perfectly. Um, so that one's not that perfect, but uh, I'll either fix it with weathering or I'll I'll paint it in with some black paint. So these, the vents are supposed to be dark gray. There's literally no way I'm taping those off. So I'm gonna hand paint them in. And then I'm honestly thinking about hand painting in this because it sucks to tape it off. Oh, and then I forgot, I also have uh, the neck ring that I taped on a long time ago. So let's pull that off. See how that looks. I'll give you a better look again. Oh yeah, that's real satisfying. Woohoo! This thing looks so nice. I'm so, so, so satisfied with it. This, it literally looks like a, like a shiny clone, you know, like a new, new clone. I'm so, this, this needs to be painted in the vents, but that is it. Uh, I'm so satisfied with that. And then, we are going to get to absolutely weathering the crap out of this. And I'm pretty excited for that. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, it's going to be a lot of like just artistic work and messing around and making it really, 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 really dirty. Uh, so yeah, I think this is going to be super awesome. It will return tonight. It will return tonight. It will, it will. All right guys, so I have been uh, obviously painting a little bit. You kind of watch the, the time lapses that I've been doing. Um, I just kind of wanted to get going, so I, I just figured I'd start a time lapse up and then I would uh, talk to you guys about it a little bit after. So basically what I've been doing is I hand painted the, the gray areas right here. And then I cleaned up the uh, black line just a little bit, hand painting it. And then obviously uh, this has already been painted by the spray paint. So is this, but I just cleaned it up. And then uh, this was already painted by the spray paint. And then 
this back here as well. And then I did uh, hand paint these in. They do not look good. I, I will show you a, in, to my shame. Uh, they don't look very good. I'm okay with it though. Uh, I'm gonna weather the living heck out of this thing, so I'm okay that they don't look that great. So my first step obviously was uh, putting a lot of these blaster marks on. So pretty much what I did, I uh, watered down my paint just a little bit and I just started trying to make blaster burns and stuff like that. You know, I did like lots of, uh, you know, blow by things like this and, and uh, you know, I put spots and then kind of wipe them off so that they'd have this light spark in the middle. Um, you know, some things I just did like scratches or, or like, you know, big scrapes or whatever, I, you know, and you know, lots of blow by. I think those look really good. I thought they looked cool. Um, and then big, <clears throat> big blaster explosion kind of thing right here. Um, for this pretty much, I, I pretty much just kind of made a lot of splayed out and then tapped it in the middle with the, the, the paper towel, I just tapped it in the middle a lot and tried to kind of splay it out and make it look a little more natural and normal. And then, you know, same thing. I think some of my blast marks look really good. I think they're, I'm very satisfied with how, um, how they look. And then, you know, we got some from the back. Weathering along and uh, I decided to look at my reference material again. And I went over to look and <laughs> I saw this. And I was like, oh my God, I have a long way to go. Kind of, I'll show you what I what I had going on. You know, I have um, just this, this little thing for my paint tray. And then I have some, these, I think I bought these from Walmart. They come with like, you know, a, a, like two, two chip brush kind of, or, you know, flat ones and then two pointy ones for more fine detailing. And then I have these for like spreading it around everywhere and stuff like that. Yeah, and then I just have, I have a, a plethora of paint I got. I have black, um, burnt umber, timeless gray, snow white, more black. Uh, and then I just have a ton of other ones over to the side that are like random ones that I just brought up thinking, you know, like, oh, we'll see what happens. So I'll kind of show you guys what I'm going to do with some paint. I think uh, what I'm going to try and do is mix uh, some browns together. So I have nutmeg brown and burnt ember it looks like some you know some browns and and honestly maybe even a little bit of yellow so i'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow we'll just see how that goes so i'm gonna try and um use these guys probably mix a little water in there and uh we'll we'll go from here so i mixed those together and added a little bit of water and then i i mixed just some more uh burnt umber in it because <clears throat> it was a little bit too light Looked like a really gross, like, like I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. Very gross brown. So now I'm pretty satisfied with this brown. I'm gonna just basically start painting it on and seeing <clears throat> how it goes. I'll paint it on, wipe it off. I'm gonna start in like all the corners basically, because that's obviously where it's gonna stay the most. So I, it's gonna be like heavy in the corners. Um, and then pretty like a you know light wash everywhere else. And uh, we'll see what happens. So put it around like this. Just a light wash. And then uh, pretty much what I'm gonna do, I'm kinda so in the time that it is uh sitting on it like this, basically some of the paint is being allowed to dry to it. So so when I try and wipe it off, it's not all going to come off. Um, and it's also, I left it a little thick for, you know, how thick I sometimes leave it, leave things for uh, weathering because it's easier to wipe off the, more, the less thick it is. So, <clears throat> so it's not going to wipe off super easily either. So let's see how this looks. We're just, I'm just going to basically start like trying to, like dab it off so <clears throat> 
when I start to use the clean side of the paper towel, I can kind of try and clean off some of the open, more open areas. So now it looks a little darker. Well, you guys can barely even see the difference, honestly, but uh, it does it does look a little darker. So we're just gonna just keep piling it up. So <clears throat> I'm gonna switch to a time lapse probably. So you guys don't have to just watch this forever. I think what I'm gonna do, partially I'm gonna let it sit in the corners a little bit longer, like this spot sat and it looks good over here. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try and keep adding it on. I'm gonna stick to this side for right now so I can compare left and right. And we shall see. Okay, so we're getting darker. Uh, it's still on camera, it does not look very dark. At all. I mean, it does look dark, but it's definitely darker in person. And so now what I'm doing is I mixed, uh, I have a lot of uh, burnt umber, which is the darker brown, and then uh, just a tiny bit of nutmeg because I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna try and, you know, do all the creases in a really dark brown so that they really look, uh, you know, filled in because right now they do look filled in, but it's not, quite as much as I really want it to be like stark difference of really filled in and all the creases and weathered and stuff like that. But I am pretty satisfied with the color so far. We've definitely gotten more brown. So we'll just uh, keep moving on. So you guys can see I'm kind of starting to make some pretty good progress on it. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with how dark it is, honestly. Probably gonna make it a little darker, but it's pretty dang cool. To kind of smooth out the brush, the brush strokes, make them not really look like brushes anymore. I've been using this and I've just been kind of going like this and it smooths it out, makes it uh, kind of blend in a little bit more instead of it looking like brush strokes and stuff like that. Uh, it kind of smooths out, gives it more evenness and stuff like that. And then another thing I've been doing is I've been taking my brush, which is pretty uh, like chippy. It's not super nice fine point. And I've just been with like, you know, some of the paints that I have, I've just been kind of like trying to go like this. Trying to just like go like this a lot. And it, it has broken up the texture a little bit. Definitely made it uh, slightly less smooth. Um, a little more natural looking. Uh, so that has helped a, a bit as well. You can see pretty happy with all the, you know, in there and the creases and, and it's, I think the, my battle scars kind of give it a nice, um, undertone, you know, like it's brown and weathered, but it also has these nice black, like, you know, blast marks and, and whatnot. Uh, this area has been, you know, very, I'm very satisfied with this area. It looks super nice and weather it around the edges and stuff there's a lot of grime in the edges you know right right there it looks really good yeah i'm very happy so uh we're just gonna keep adding on um i'm probably gonna start this side now so we'll start with kind of some lighter colors what i'm pretty much what i'm gonna do is uh start with a uh, a bit more of the nutmeg and a little less of the burnt umber and uh, maybe a tiny bit of yellow and stuff like that. And I'm just gonna try and cover the whole helmet to give it uh, a good, you know, like coating, stuff like that, kind of give it a base coat of, of brownish grime. Uh, but before I do start that, I need to uh, give this another coat of gray because it, it is, it's pretty paintbrushy right now. And, and I think you'll probably still see through it as I, uh, weather it so that's the first thing we're going to do but then i'm going to mix up some of this stuff so i'll kind of show you guys what it looks like so 
So here I'm gonna try and mix the uh, the paint together real fast for the rest of the side. I just finished painting the the side, so now it looks all nice and clean and not paintbrushy anymore. So this is what I have right now. You can see there's the um, nutmeg and the and the yellow, and then underneath of it is some burnt umber. And I'm just gonna drop another thing of burnt umber in it real fast. And then try and drop some water into it. We'll mix it all up and see what we get. So this is kind of what we're looking at for the first coat. You can't see it too well. It's like a just a barely yellowish light brown. So that's going to be our first coat that I put everything on. Um, so we'll go and put that on right now. Okay, so now I have a kind of a coat on it. Um, it's not completely, not complete. Like, you know, I'm missing right here, right here. But you can tell that it is lighter. It's definitely yellower on this side than this side, which is very dark and brown. Um, so I did mix the next thing, which is definitely, it's like a pretty dark grayish brown. I did mostly burnt umber with just a little bit of yellow and a tiny bit of uh, nutmeg on it. So now I'm going to layer that over and kind of hopefully mesh uh, this color with this color and, uh, you know, continue to get it more in, in the cracks. I think this crack, these cracks are pretty good. I um, want to get more in here. But yeah, so we'll keep going. All right, guys, so uh, <clears throat> I am just about done painting it. Um, it's actually darker in person than what you guys see. For example, <laughs> this looks so light and it is actually pretty dark. Um, but uh, it is darker in person, but I it is awesome. Like I'm, I'm so happy with the way it looks. It looks super, super, super good. Uh, I just have just a little bit left um, I need to get some paint in there. Obviously, they do not look good. I need to get some paint uh, on the on the fin because I just haven't gotten to there yet. Um, but honestly, other than that, it's pretty. Oh, and then I need to get some in the in here. But honestly, other than that, it is pretty pretty much done. I'm I'm so satisfied with it. I think it looks so so cool. But other than that, I just want to I just want to go over it a little bit more and pretty much just make sure that it doesn't look like there's any, you know, like paintbrush strokes. Like, uh, for example, the bottom looks pretty painted. Uh, you can't quite tell too much uh, um, on the camera, but you know, like to my eye, I'm pretty picky and I, I uh, w want things to look good and stuff like that. And so there are just some areas that do look like they're uh, paintbrushed. So I just want to go over that stuff again. Um, and then I do, I need to put a lot of paint in there, like a lot, because I want that to be real dark. Cause I think it, I think in, you know, like in real life that it would be very dark. I'm also super happy with how the black weathered, like, look at that. That looks so nice. You can see that it's black, but weathered on top of it. I think that is, so good looking in the back this back looks so good see i told you my crappy hand paint job you'd never even know because now it looks incredible it's so weathered looks awesome and the gray i'm so happy with it looks you know you can see it's gray but it looks so weathered and dirty um yeah i'm super happy with it uh the 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 paint splotches look awesome they definitely yeah, so I'm so, or the, the blaster marks, whatever you like to call them, they, they look so good. I'm, I'm 
so happy with this. I think it looks freaking cool. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a couple more coats. So I'll set up the time lapse and we'll keep going. So as you guys are seeing right now, this is my helmet. I am so incredibly proud of it. I think it looks awesome. It looks, you know, better than I could ever imagine. I, I wasn't sure at first the weathering, it was kind of daunting. I was like, oh boy, this is very, very, very dirty. Um, but it, it looks incredible. I'm so happy with it. It's just so, 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 so cool. So uh, you guys will notice I did not put the visor in. It's kind of been hard to get visors lately, so uh, I really wanted to get this YouTube video out, so I just finished up everything else, and uh, I will put a visor in it at some point eventually, but for right now, um, I'm totally satisfied with this. So this is a really exciting prop for me because I've always had this dream of being that uh, extravagant explorer, super crazy old guy who just has artifacts and stories galore from all of his travels and adventures and things like that and you know that you know the crazy old guy with the really fancy mansion and uh the crazy library and all the things sitting in cases and books and stuff like that that's what i've always dreamed of so uh this is just a absolutely incredible prop that i can you know sit up somewhere hidden away covered in dust and it will just fit right into that aesthetic and uh you know, as my collection grows of things that I've made and things that I've collected, I'll slowly reach that goal. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are still around over the past like year or so that I haven't really posted anything, I'm so thankful for you. Uh, thank you for always supporting me and staying around. I hope that I can continue to make some stuff for you guys and not disappoint you and get out some content because I'm really looking forward to it. I love making videos and talking to you guys. So if you've commented on any of my videos, there's uh, some of you have been checking in on me and seeing if I'm ever going to come back and things like that. So I, I'm so thankful for you guys. Um, but if you're not one of those guys and you're new discovering this video from somewhere else, if you're interested in this kind of content, I, I'm a, you know, DIY nerd channel. So I, I love to make all kinds of things. Um, you, you'll notice I have Dustin from Stranger Things right here and Ned Stark on the Iron Throne. Um, Stranger Things is huge right now. It's uh, uh, the season four has come out. I would love to make a prop from there. I don't really know what to make, but I would love to make a prop from there. So if you guys have any ideas, uh, definitely let me know. But yeah, if you guys are interested in anything like that, um, you know, Star Wars or, or Harry Potter or all those nerdy things, that's kind of what I make here. So definitely think about subscribing and sticking around. But other than that, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, try and give me a like. It definitely helps out. Give me a comment, ask any questions. I love to talk to you guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. That is all for the day. So stay safe out there, guys, and maybe try and make something. Okay, he's dead.